I am at the town hall of Planes, and I am looking for a gentleman named John, who is English, and I will try to have information to find him. Oui, bien sûr, je peux vous indiquer où habite Monsieur John. Pour le trouver, il faut prendre le chemin de la gare. Bon, c'est un petit peu loin, mais vous le trouvez facilement. Ok, I am on the way to the station. I just have to walk. Well, I see the station, I'm getting there. Monsieur Nidal? Mr. Nidal? Hello? Oh, yes. You are Mr. Nidal? Yes, yeah, that's me, yeah. Oh, I do a video about uh, your station. Uh, can I ask you a few questions? Yes, certainly. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, very nice. Come here. Bonjour. 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 Hello, John. So, where do you come from? Uh, I'm English. Uh, and uh, where in England did you live? Uh, I was born near London, but much of my life was near Salisbury, in the south centre of England. Um, wh why did you buy this station? It is a funny thing to buy a station in France. Uh, I was on holiday here in 1988 with my cousin. We travelled on the yellow train, we were on a walking holiday, and there was a house for sale sign on the shutters, and I fell in love with the place. When did you come here to live permanently? Um, it was about 2016. Do you have the usual comfort of life here? Not really. It's not, not like uh, modern life here. I bought the station with no water, no electricity. So the, the spring water comes in on a, on a um, pipe, uh, which is drinkable. Uh, and um, I've got a smaller generator for electricity that I can use in the evenings. Uh, and um, the cooker is with gas, uh, bottled gas. And for eating? Eating? Um, I have a small gas refrigerator uh, um, yeah, I'm here uh, and um, I can cook here with the gas cooker, yes, it's, it's not, not, not a problem. It's important here because we are in the mountains here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, the weather is from times very cold in winter. <laughs> yeah, yes, it does get cold. I, I've got a wood, burning, a wood burner in the cellar downstairs so that can keep me nice and warm all winter. Do you sometimes see your family? Um, yeah, well, my younger daughter lives in Exeter and she likes coming out here, but she's got a baby at the moment, so uh, I see her when I go back to England. Um, my wife lives in Edin Edinburgh, where my daughter lives, and uh, my daughter loves coming out here. Uh, she's coming out in May, I think. Uh, um, my wife was here one winter when there was snow like that, that's a few years back now, and uh, she, uh, I think she decided that was probably enough uh, for the winters out here. What is your main occupation? Have you had a hobby? Uh, I'm a retired stonemason for my work. Out here, um, yeah, out here I'm making a, a museum. I've, I'm really uh, quite uh, enthusiastic about the yellow train here and also geology is uh, one of my main hobbies. Uh, so I'm trying to set up a small museum in the waiting room that's, that's got geology and uh, yellow train themes uh, to it. Come and have a look at the museum. What is the age of these uh, fossils? Uh, these fossils are all from the end of the Jurassic period, so they're about 145 million years old. That's an ammonite there. Here, these are pieces of bones, dinosaur, crocodile, crocodile teeth, dinosaur teeth, there's a pterosaur tooth there. Plant remains here, there are petrified seeds and um, some uh, shoots here uh, and some thorns.
It's a funny thing to find a, a museum, a geology, geological museum in, in a station. <laughs> yes, it is. train station. Uh, this fossil here, that's uh, the remains of a large reptile bone, probably a dinosaur vertebra. Well, yes, that's a, that's a small pipe uh, from one of the employees who worked here. And uh, there's the uh, two, the two mammified Loire, uh, they were from the, uh, from the roof of the waiting room here. Uh, this is the visitor's book here. Uh, lots of people from different places, even from New Zealand here. Uh, geology book that I've written, uh, my daughter did all the uh, design for the cover. This sign is a present for my daughter. Come and have a look at my bread oven. So, here is the place where the station master used to make his bread. During the winter, John cannot use his car to leave his station because the access road to Planes is not cleared of snow. He therefore regularly takes the yellow train which runs 65 kilometers from Villefranche-Vernay to La Tour de Carole. It is one of the highest lines of the French railways. We are on the only operational suspension bridge in the French rail network. The 250 meter long deck is 70 meters above the valley on the top of the pillars 100 meters. It is called Gisclar Bridge after its designer, who unfortunately died during a load test in 1909. Indeed, for an unknown reason, the train coasted downhill and crashed in a bend. After finding John at his station, we will continue to Mont Louis. From there, we will walk up to the Lac des Bouillouses which is essential for the operation of the yellow train. You know my friend John? Yes, yes. He's going to go up there, we're going to go to the lake of Bouillouse. Yes, yes. Now we're going to go to the lake of Bouillouse. It's really very hard to get to Lac des Bouillous in this heavy snow that slides a lot. I'm standing here on the dam that holds back the Bouillous Lake here and the water is piped from here down to the um, down to the power station at La Cassania to provide the water for the, the power for the yellow train. The lake is frozen and covered with a thick layer of snow. Here are the big pipes that drain the water from the lake to the hydroelectric plant that supplies the electricity needed for the yellow train.